You are now watching Tales from the Grid. Figpin has released another XL pin, this time being the White Tiger Zord. Based on the messaging of the announcement and release posts, I worry it may be the last XL Power Ranger pin they make, as they repeatedly mention it completes the trio of XL pins for their Power Rangers collection. The urgent nature of telling the fans to get this pin comes off as Figpin not having faith that this pin will sell itself based on its own merit. If this is indeed the last XL Power Ranger pin, I would have preferred they have given us the White Tiger Zord in both modes or just went with the warrior mode so it can be upright and be a vertical pin just like the Dino Megazord and Dragon Zord pins. If the XL Power Ranger pins are done, then it was a missed opportunity to have Dinozord pins. This White Tiger Zord pin would have fit in better with Dinozord pins because most of them would have been horizontal pins as well. If all their pins sold at full price, Fig Pin was projected to make over $326,000 in total. As of the making of this video, Fig Pin has made about $239,000 off their Power Ranger pins. This amount is only 73% of the projected sales goal. The standard Power Ranger pins were announced about a year and a half ago and are still available to purchase. A 1,000 pin batch per Ranger at $15 per pin not being sold out over a year later shows that there is not enough consumer demand for these pins for them to continue production. Fig Pin will produce more batches of pins as long as they are in demand. They released three variants each of both the green and white rangers because they knew they were the most popular rangers and would likely sell quickly. At this point in time, even those pins didn't get another batch made. If a pin doesn't get another batch made within a year of its initial release, Fig Pin will retire that pin, which is is a nice way to say they will discontinue it. These are the only Power Ranger pins still available to purchase directly from Fig Pin. There has been multiple sales that included these pins, but yet they're still here. Hopefully, the other pins that aren't available to purchase are because they sold out at their regular prices. Another XL Power Ranger pin was released. The shipping fee is $4. The logo pin's colors match the XL pin. The colored side of the back of card was changed to a colored version of the black design. Fig Pin chose the Zord mode instead of the Warrior mode. Marketing a product as the last piece of a collection can create FOMO within consumers to buy the product. Even though I would have preferred the Warrior mode of the pin, I still like it. It's a shame that marketing is low-key conveying it's a wrap for the XL Power Ranger line and maybe even the entire Fig Pin Power Ranger collection going forward because the demand for these pins aren't what they probably projected them to be. Will I buy? I already did. Thank you for watching another episode of Tales from from the grid and until next time have a good one <laughs>